Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for November 13th through November 19th. I have to remind you that this may not resonate with you. This is not a private reading just for you, okay? It may resonate with you like a private reading. It may, but it may not resonate at all, okay? I just have to say that, okay? Just so everybody knows, this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Bits may resonate and then the other pieces may not. Okay. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I will zoom this in when I am done laying out the cards. Okay, the basis of your reading is the Ten of Swords. So some of you may be feeling defeated. You could be feeling a loss of some sort. You could be feeling like you're in crisis mode. We do have you here connected right to this. This is a man or woman, by the way. Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. But in this reading, it's you. This reading is about you. I feel like many of you... Um, are feeling like you're in authority, you're the boss, you're trying to remain in control of a situation, you're trying to do the right thing for you and others, you know, you're trying to do the right thing for everybody. It feels like you are taking action, you're not just sitting still, you don't, you can't sit still, okay, you can't sit still. You like to be in control and I think this month you are maybe feeling out of loss, at a loss, or not this month. This is a weekly reading, isn't it? <laughs> well, I said this month for a reason, so take that into consideration. Um, I feel like many of you could feel a loss of control. All right. There could be some illness because I feel like there could be some illness that is impacting you, and you may need to release some of the control to somebody else. You may be able you may need to release some of your burdens, some of your responsibilities to somebody else. You know, and I just know that you don't want to do that. Okay? I feel like there's a need to heal. Maybe you many of you are going through a period of healing over an illness, and you may feel like you're in crisis mode because you've lost control for a few minutes or a little while, you know? So I feel like perhaps you know, you've reached the end of some road and you're about to take a new course. I do feel like, I mean, I see that there's a lesson that has been learned and you're about to start a major new project or a major new phase of your life. There's changes on the horizon if they haven't happened already. It's like the death of a situation. That's what it is. One phase of your life is ending and a new one is beginning. And this sounds like a broken record, Aries. It does. It feels like every single time I have the same reading for you. Many of you are at the end of the road. We have talked about this over and over and over again. You're at the end of the road. And it's time to start the new journey. But change. It, change is needed. Okay, and you need to let go of the need to control, and that's a big one. 
It really is. I feel like um, hmm, many of you may be feeling very grateful for all that you have. Or there's there's so many, there's completions here. Miss, I think that some of you could be ending a relationship, and I didn't. I, this is a love reading, after all. Some of you could be ending a relationship, and and it may be because you have another choice. Okay, you may be moving from one to another. Just saying, you may be moving from one to yourself, being alone, because there's several options here. This is for several several people. Some of you are going to leave a relationship and to be by yourself because you're ready to take care of you. You're ready to put yourself first. You don't need anybody else. That's how you're feeling. It's like, you know what? I'm ready for this. I'm going to vibrate high on my own. I'm going to take care of stuff and I'm going to be so happy and I'm ready. And, you know, I think you're ready to take action. You're ready to just show the world how passionate you are and just do everything your way. You're just sick of compromising. It's like, you know what? It's time for me to do me. All right. So that's for somebody. I don't know who. For somebody else, you're leaving a relationship because you're looking for more. You're looking for, uh, you have another love interest or you're looking for more love. Perhaps there's been a time of boredom within a relationship or there's no more excitement or there's no more, no more growth and you're looking for romance, okay? So there could be another love interest that is more romantic. You could be reminiscing about the past. Maybe it's somebody from your past. Maybe this new phase of your life brings you back together with somebody from your past, okay? Somebody that is getting this reading right now is going through some major endings, big ones, okay? We have the wheel card, we have the ten of swords, and we have the world, okay? Those are major endings, okay? This is a, a, a loss, a, a loss of something that no longer serves you. Something that made you feel dead inside. It's like a death of something, okay? If you look at the card, it's, it's like a death. It's, a, it's the end. It's the end, okay? And that's the basis of your reading. You've reached the end of the road, okay? It's time for you to take action. Let go of the need to control and go down the new road, okay? When you do that, you're about, you will start a beautiful new phase. When you have the wheel in the world, it promises something very nice, very beautiful, very fortunate. Okay, there's going, there's good news, good fortune on the way. And the only thing is, is you have to take action. Okay, you have to follow your passion and nobody else's. You must take action. If you're looking for love, real love, true love, romance, you have to take action. If you're thinking about the past, reminiscing about the past, you got to take action. You must take action with these two nights, okay? You must, all right? If you're looking to fulfill your dreams, if you're looking for a spiritual renewal, or if you're just looking to renew your soul, you have to get moving. You do. You have to let whatever needs to die, die. Let it go. Release the heaviness. Do the right thing for you. Even if it brings legal matters. Some of you may be staying stuck because you don't want to face the legal matters. Okay? But your heart knows what you want. It does. And I think for many of you, your heart wants happiness, contentment, inner security, inner stability. One phase of your life has ended or is going to end, okay? And it's going to bring you something much better. So just let it go. Let it go. All right, let it go. There is the lover's card right here. When the lover's card comes out, it's an unexpected choice in love. It's about some decision that needs to be made regarding a commitment, okay? Perhaps you need to let go so that your soulmate can come in. I don't know. This is for somebody. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. 
All right? Be prepared. The lover's card is here to say, hey, I'm here. What are you going to do? Do you want to say, you want to stay stuck there? Or do you want the real deal? You know what I mean? It's here to open your eyes. Are you happy where you're at right now? That's the question. Are you happy? I see that somebody is not. And they need to do the right thing for them. Somebody is not happy who's watching this. I know it. I see it. And they need to heal. They need to go through their period of renewal. Somebody, some of it, somebody already is going through their renewal. Okay? But somebody hasn't taken action and somebody has. Somebody is walking down that new road. And somebody is just thinking about it. Okay? Somebody needs to take the lead. Somebody needs to take action. Now, I'm going to point a couple things out for you. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. King of Wands, King of Cups. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Aries. Then we have Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, Sagittarius. But anyway, Aries, you're, you need to take action. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Both of them, okay? Somebody needs to take action. Probably with this person. I think somebody is looking for something more. Maybe this person isn't fulfilling your needs. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. All right? But I feel like you've reached the end of the road. You've learned a major lesson. Somebody is not happy with the situation. And the only reason they're staying is because of legal matters. And I think that somebody is in search of their soulmate. Their real, true soulmate, soulmate with this lover's card. And wanting more love. And I think that they want to reach the end of the road. But they're scared. And I think it has to do with legal matters, all right, for many of you. There's a, there's a new door that is ready to open whenever you're ready to open it. But it is going to mean that you need to make a decision and you are going to have to accept change. All right, and you're going to have to do the right thing for you. All right, I see there's been some depression there has. There's been depression over making this decision. The basis of your reading is the Ten of Swords. You need to complete this cycle. Somebody is at the end. The end of the line. The end of the road. Somebody's reached the finish line with that Ten of Swords and that World card. Somebody is at the end. They're ready to make a move. All you need to do is, is walk. The outcome is beautiful. The outcome is, is the Star card. Healing. The ultimate healing. Your hopes and wishes being fulfilled. The ultimate renewal with the star card. Peace of mind is the outcome. Should you learn your lesson and walk down the road that serves you best. I'm shuffling and I will lay out this in just a moment right now you need to have faith you need to have faith in your journey you need to have faith in yourself you need to believe in yourself you need to follow your own path it's time okay follow your own path 
don't worry about legal matters. Now legal, legal matters has come up twice. Many of you have not walked down the road because of legal matters. It is time to do the right thing for you. We have justice twice. I was just talking about legal matters before I pulled this card. This one signifies legal matters, and this one does too. And this one does, this is the same card, just a different deck. Legal matters are a huge factor in your life. Do the right thing for you, okay? Be honest. Not just with the other person. Be honest with yourself. The Justice card is also about finality. I have told you multiple times in this reading, somebody has reached the end of the road. Make it final. Cut that heaviness out of your life. End it. Let it end. Let the new door open. You must. To hell with the legal mumble jumbo. Isn't it about love for yourself? Don't you want some romance? It's time for you to bring the balance back to your life. Make a decision and make it final. Oh, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is all over the place. This person, it came out reversed, but I flipped it because you know I flip them because I don't need to have them reversed. And if you don't like it, you don't have to watch my videos, okay? I'm not your other tarot reader. Um, so anyhow, um, this is depression. You are depressed in your current state. You're not happy. You're procrastinating. You are procrastinating. You know what you want. Perhaps you want to reunite with somebody from your past. And it doesn't mean somebody you dated. Maybe it's somebody you knew when you were a child, but you never dated them. Perhaps it was somebody you dated and you want to reunite, reunite with them, but you're scared. I don't know. Many of you are thinking about the past. Seriously, with this and this. Okay. There could be even a past life relationship in this picture somewhere that you are thinking about. But it cannot come to fruition until you cut out what needs to cut out, be cut out. The justice tells me that you need to make something final. You need to take the sword and cut something out of your life. You're procrastinating. You're ignoring the truth. Because of legal matters. You're ignoring. You're not moving fast enough. You're not running down the road because of legal matters. You're not moving fast enough. But you should be moving. The first card is the, the Knight of Pentacles. You need to get moving. If you're looking for that ultimate love, you need to get your ass in gear. Do you look, want that security? Do you want the do you want security, stability? This is the ten of pentacles. This is a secure, happy, comfortable home. It's a completion. Many of you will be moving, or your home life will be changing. I see an ending that needs to happen, where you will be changing your establishment. Your home will be changing in some way. Okay, you're ready. You're ready for this change. But you've been procrastinating. You haven't been moving very fast. But I know that that you're ready. You're ready to heal. You're ready to renew your soul. You are. 
you're ready to bring that peace back to your life. All you have to do is move a little bit faster. Take action. Let it end. Let it end. That Ten of Swords is the basis of your reading. Let it end. If this is about legal matters, let it go. Let it go. What matters more? Do you want romance in your life? Do you want that ultimate partnership? Do you, that lover's card up there? Do you want that? Do you want that? Do you want that ultimate union? Do you want that soulmate? If you don't move, if you don't take action, you will live with the consequences of your choice. This is for Aries. I'm going to get you three of these angel romance cards. Many of you are looking for a divorce. And you may think this is about a wedding. It is. Many of you are reminiscing about a past marriage. Or somebody you wanted to marry before. Or you are looking for a divorce. That's what's going on when that card comes up. It means so many things. Just like the rest of the cards. Somebody is thinking about a past marriage or they're thinking about the marriage that they're in that they don't want to be in or they want to get married in the future. You have to have faith. You have to do the right thing for you. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. <sighs> if you need to run down the road, go. You need to let something end. I know many of you are looking for romance, but you just haven't let the past go. And many of you haven't let the past go because of legal issues. You know, otherwise, maybe mentally you've let it go, but you're stuck there because of, you know, legal issues. Money, the home, the house, whatever the case is. Express the love to yourself by kicking it into high gear. Oh, there it is. Ooh, this is what the deal is. And many of you are looking to express this. It's pent up inside. And it's killing you. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. If I was you, I would get, I'd run. That's my advice, Aries. That's what I got for this week. Like I said, this may not resonate with you because this is not a private reading. This is going to resonate with somebody. Okay? If you want to know more about me, you might be interested in my Let's Talk episodes that I will do most every night. And you'll see them on YouTube. I do them live. If you'd be so lucky to catch them while I'm live... You might get to hear the whole thing. I often hide them off after and make them unlisted or private because they can get a little out of hand. <laughs> so if you'd be so lucky to watch them where they're live, you might you might just hear it all. Some of them are, are really spiritual and some of them are rants. It all depends on who, what, where, when, how, and all that. So talk to you later, Aries.